कश्चित बद्रे नाम आत्मनस्ते विचायात लायते आलक्षयराधिम दूरे बंधु शोच सिंचना धर्म उवाच कशि भद्रे नाम आत्मनस्ते आलक्षयराधिम दूरे बंधु शोच सिंचना Synonyms. Mm. Translation: Dharma, in the form of a bull, asked, "Madam, are you not hale and hearty? Why are you covered with the shadow of grief? It appears by your face that you have become black. Are you suffering from some internal disease, or are you thinking of some relative who is away in a far distant place?" <coughs> Purport: The people of the world in this age of Kali are always full of anxieties. Everyone is diseased with some kind of ailment. From the very faces of the people of this age, one can find out the index of the mind. Everyone feels the absence of his relative who is away from home. The particular symptom of the age of Kali is that no family is now blessed to live together. To earn a livelihood, the father lives at a place far away from the son. Or the wife lives far away from the husband, and so on. There are sufferings from internal diseases, separation from those near and dear, and anxieties for maintaining the status quo. These are but some important factors which make the people of this age always unhappy. <coughs> so, uh, this age of Kali. We have discussed in the previous classes. Uh, it's very degraded age. In the beginning, there is Shatrujyu. In the next, Tetajyu. Next, Dapurjyu. And this is the Kaliyu. The aggregate of all these four yugas uh, <coughs> is called. जुग सहस्र जुग पर्यतम और हजत ब्रह्मनो विद द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ सत्ययोग ए 1800000 सब इयर्स एंड द नेक्स्ट त्रेता जो रफली 1200000 इयर्स एंड दापुर जो 800000 Yes, and this college you four hundred thirty-two hundred thousands of years. <coughs> so we are in this college you. In this college you, we have passed only five thousand years. Out of four hundred and thirty-two thousands of years, we have passed only five thousand. Since the battle of Kurukshetra, which takes took place five thousand years ago, the Kali Yuga has begun. So this chapter is on the subject matter how Kurukshetra received the age of Kali. We are studying this chapter at the present moment in Los Angeles. We are studying, and again uh, after that we are. Presenting. <coughs> hmm. So, Kaliyu is not very uh, good age. Uh, simply false. Uh, we have several times discussed 
that in this age, people's division of life, uh, mercifulness, bodily strength, and mm, uh, so many things, eight kinds of things, uh, will be reduced. Uh, the age is reducing, the bodily strength is also reducing. Now you American generation, you are not as strong as your father or grandfather. You can understand. No? You are not so luxuriantly grown up, bodily mm, growth. There are so many reasons, but this is the symptom of age of police. Uh, they are described in the Srimad Bhagavatam, foretold 5,000 years ago, what will happen in this Kali Yuga? That is all explained in the twelfth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, third, fourth chapter. So, uh, simply full of faults. Uh, social life, political life, religious life, everything has been described there. Uh, and one thing I can see very practical that in this age, lavanam uh, kesadharanam, it is stated there. The people will think that by keeping long hairs, they will become very weak. That is stated there. Dampatte roti me vohi. Husband and wife's relation will depend on the strength of sex. These are described there. Shikara me vahi udvahi. Marriage will be performed simply by agreement. Now, this is Shastra. 5000 years ago, what was written, that is now becoming true. Now there is no marriage, as it was taken formally. Duidic marriage, the father and mother will select the bride, bridegroom, and there will be God's ceremony in marriage. The father will spend both parties, the girl's father and the boy's father will spend, still in India, there are cases like that. They will spend their hard-earned money during the marriage ceremony of their son and daughter. But in this age, gradually, it is said, Shikaram eva udvahi. Udvaha means marriage. Taking the charge of the girl. The boy takes charge of the young girl from the custody of her father. This is marriage. Uh, women, according to Vedic civilization, they are not recommended freedom. They should be taken care of just like children are taken care of. You cannot give independence to the children. That is not possible. Then it is not good for them. Uh, <coughs> similarly, Women also oh, should be taken care of. They should not be given freedom. That is not good for them. Uh, they should be protected by the father in childhood, by the husband in youthhood, and by the children, grown up children in old age. Three stages. Uh, <clears throat> but in this age, women are trying to take independence of father, husband, or children, uh, that is not good. Uh, that is described in the Shastra. Uh, <coughs> so, so many symptoms are described, uh, but at the end, the remedy is suggested, because Shastra means it will guide you for the ultimate goal of life, for the perfection of life. So, if the world condition is so bad, then how people will be saved? Uh, that is also suggested in the Shastra. Kalo dosu nidhi rajan asti jiko mahan guna. Parikhid Maharaj was advised by Sukhdev Goswami, my dear king, 
I have described so many faults. It is like the ocean of faults. Uh, <clears throat> but there is one boon also. That is special prerogative, special advantage of this age. Kalo dosu nidhi rajan asti ko mahan Kalo. Kalo means in this, this age of Kali. It is full of faulty things. But there is one boon. What is that? Kirtanadiva Krishna sa mukta sangha param brajet. Kirtanadiva Krishna sa. Simply by chanting the holy name of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Simply by chanting the holy name. Kirtanadiva Krishna sa. Krishna sa. So, Mukta Sangha, he becomes free from all these contaminations. That is one thing, simply chanting Hare Krishna. Kirtana Deva Krishna Sa, Mukta Sangha. There are so many contaminations, so many faults of this age. But simply by chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, uh, one becomes Kirtana Deva Krishna Sa, Mukta Sangha. He becomes free from the contaminated association. Uh, just like if there is some epidemic disease and if you take vaccine, it is supposed that you are free from the contamination. So this vaccine of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra will keep you fit without any contamination of this age of Kuli. Uh, that is happening. Uh, all over the world, people are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. And practically we see the, those who are chanting, they are becoming free from the contamination. Uh, if you follow the rules and regulations, very simple thing, uh, and chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra, that is our only request, that in spite of this contaminated age of Kali, he'll be saved. Uh, he'll be saved. That we are, that is our Krishna consciousness movement means that uh, we are preaching this cult. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Iva Kivalam, Kalo Nasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Nasti, Iva Gatirandata. Without this, there is no other way of saving you from the contamination of Kali. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, here another question is, the dharma vubhacha, personified dharma, is inquiring from the uh, cow, uh, he is addressing cow, uh, amba, amba means mother, the cow is our mother. Uh, um, why mother? Because from practical point of view, we drink milk. So how mother, how cow is not mother? She is mother. You are taking her milk. Uh, there are seven mothers according to Vedic civilization. Adho mata guru patni, brahmani, rajapatnika. Dhatri Tatha Pritti Saptaisti Matari Smita uh, Real Mother from whose home we have come to this world Real Mother uh, Adho Mata Then Guru Patni Wife of the teacher or spiritual master uh, Guru Patni Brahmani The wife of a Brahmana Adho Mata Guru Patni Brahmani Rajapatnika and the wife of the king or the queen, she is also mother. Dhenu, the cow, cow is also mother. And dhatri means nurse, nurse is also mother. Tathapriti and the earth, the earth is also our mother. That we say in country, in, in the country which we take birth, we say, uh, Desha Matrika, 
and then Sanskrit is called Desha Matriya. There is also mother, motherland, mother language. Uh, so this, so many mothers we have got, out of which cow is also mother. Uh, therefore, it's, she is addressed as Amma. Amma means mother. Still in Gujarat province, they call Amba. And in UP, United States, a United Province in India, they also call Amba. Or in a broken language, they call Amma. Still, so that is uh, from very long time, Mother is Amba Devi. There is a, from Amba Devi, there is a big temple of Mother Durga Kali in Bombay. So this Amba Devi was pronounced by the Englishmen as Bamba Devi. And from Bamba Devi it has come to Bombay. Actually, there is a big temple of Amba in Bombay. From that name, instead of Amba, they have become Bamba. That's like from Sindhu, they have called, they have designated uh, the inhabitants of Sindhu days as Hindu. The Mahmedans, they pronounce S as H. Uh, so from Sindhu it has come to Hindu. Otherwise this Hindu name is not mentioned in any Vedic literature. It is given by the, this name is given by the uh, other foreigners, especially uh, the Arabian countries, uh, they used to call this this uh, nation uh, Bharat Varsha. Actually, Hindu is not a religion. Hindu is a name given by the foreigners. Uh, the religion is of India, but not some uh, uh, following the institution of four varnas and four ashram. That is varna. Or sanatan dharma. Sanatan dharma means eternal. Eternal religion. A religion of human being is one. That is called sanatan. A living entity is described as sanatan. Mamai vamsa jiva bhuta jiva loke sanatan. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita you will find Sanatana. And Krishna is also addressed in the 11th, 11th chapter as Sanatana Stam. Uh, and there is another place or spiritual world which is also called Sanatana. Uh, in the Bhagavad Gita you will find uh, Parastasmatu bhava anya bhaktya bhaktya sanatana. So this sanatan term is very important. The living entity is sanatan. And God is sanatan. And the spiritual world is sanatan. And the process by which your lost relationship with God is established and you go back to home, back to Godhead, that is called sanatan dharma. Sanatan dharma. Uh, that is our eternal relationship with God. Uh, and there is a place. Uh, so, the system uh, which makes these two sanatan, God and the living entity, meet again. And they go back to enjoy life in the spiritual world. Uh, that system is called Sanatan dharma. That Sanatan Dharma is not meant for any particular class or particular country or particular nation or community. No, it is meant for the whole human being, especially human being. That is all living entities. Uh, living entities, they are in this material world in different forms. That is accepted by uh, Krishna. Sarva Joni Shukontiya Sammavanti Murtaya. There are as many forms of life uh, amongst the living entities. Uh, 
प्रासा महज्जन ब्रह्म अहंग बीज पद पिता महत्जन महत् इज मेटीरियल वर्ड मेटीरियल एलिमेंट्स आर दि सम टोटल मेटीरियल एलिमेंट्स मादर दुर्गा शी इज दि मादर एंड गॉड इज दि फादर जैसे फादर एंड मादर गिव्स बर्थ टू ए चाइल्ड similarly we spirit soul the part and parcel of the supreme father and the material elements mohi rapana lo bayu they are the recipient tasmin gardham dadam aham just like father gives the seed in the womb of the mother then the child uh, gets a body and it grows and come out similarly this body is given by mother material uh, um, material energy but the father is the supreme lord krishna aham bija pada pida this is the factual position we are not this material body dehi nasmin jatha dehi ko mar jo gunang jara तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति धीर सत्व नीति सो वी हैव गॉट ऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द वेदिक लिटरेचर बिगिनिंग फ्रॉम भगवत गीता एंड देन डिस्क्राइब फॉर दैट इन द समद भागवतम फोर वेदास फोर वेदास श्याम जजुरी अथर्द दे आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन द वेदांत सूत्र and the vedanta sutra is explained in the simad bhagavata therefore our propagation uh, uh, this krishna consciousness movement is that we are uh, trying to get our students well conversed in bhagavad gita and simad bhagavata to so those who are our students uh, we have got our books now ready published so nicely people are accepting it uh, i was very glad to hear from uh, our <coughs> maharaj that we are selling our 100 close to yes huh eh? close to they doing many close to 100 krishna books a day sometimes <laughs> yes so it is very good news that people are reading our books we have already got about uh, more than 1 dozen Uh, uh, such books, 400 pages each, uh, and besides the smaller books, now we are immediately going to add six more books. Uh, what are those? Three Bhagavatam, uh, uh, one, all 400 pages like this. Uh, we don't publish a book less than this volume. Uh, to just imagine. how much we have to learn about our spiritual life uh, in no other system uh, religious system in a god or cultural system can give you so many books to read there is no comparison uh, the christians they can present only one small bible and the muslim they can present to him little quran but here the vedic culture is so great that we can simply give you 60 volumes like this uh, only for simad bhagavata and bhagavata is the 18th quran so there are 17 puranas still more not yet touched uh, besides that there are 100 108 upanishads uh then there is big mahabharat the great history of india then ramayan there so many books so we are trying to present all these books in into english translation uh so it is a culture vedic culture which if it is spread all over the world people will be benefited because at the present moment uh, people do not know 
what is the treasure house of spiritual culture they do not know uh, they have got some vague idea neither they are offered such volumes of books uh, so those who are present here uh, our disciple or not disciple uh, should understand that this krishna consciousness movement is a great scientific movement it is not a bogus bluffing movement very scientific movement uh, <coughs> so in this movement our one program is to uh, respect the cows uh, we chant this mantra namo brahmanna devayo go brahmana hitay uh, the brahminical culture and the cows uh, why they have selected the cows there are so many animals why cow protection is so important in krishna consciousness why krishna personally himself became a cowherd boy and was taking the care of the cows and the calves oh that is very essential and here also you see that the dharmaraj is inquiring about the comforts of the cow amma ha uh, कचिद भद्रे अनामयम आत्मनस्ते आमायम मीन्स डिजीज सो वेदर यू आर क्वाइट कम्फर्टेबल बाय योर हेल्थ दिस इज वेरी एसेंशियल टू कीप काउस वेरी कम्फर्टेबली इफ दे फील कम्फर्टेबल देन यू गेट द मोस्ट नरिशिंग फूड मिल्क we are practically seeing in our new vrindavan center uh, because the cow are feeling secure in our custody they are delivering milk up to the 80 pounds daily daily supplies oh. so if you get milk products milk ah uh, then you can prepare so many preparation full of vitamins which will nourish your brain a uh, dull brain cannot understand what is spiritual knowledge therefore uh, that uh, mr barnard saw he wrote a book uh, perhaps you know it you are what you eat uh, if you keep your brain dull then how you can understand uh, because without becoming very intelligent man one cannot understand uh, krishna consciousness that is stated in the chaitanya charitamrita <coughs> krishna je bhaje shivara chotu one who takes to krishna consciousness seriously and perfectly he must be very very intelligent <coughs> dull brain cannot accept it baunam janmanam ante gyanavan mang prabandhat so we have to make our brain very clean uh, and for that purpose we require to drink uh, not very much at least to 1 pound or half pound milk daily that is essential uh, uh, but no meat eating uh, this is intelligence the milk is also conversion of the blood everyone knows uh, just like we drink the milk of our mother the color of the milk is white but everyone knows that milk is produced from the red blood red corpuscle uh, so this is the process that people are very much anxious to drink the blood of cows from the slaughter house uh, they, they sometimes drink pressed blood i mean is it not yes. huh? okay. uh, that is not very good intelligence you drink the blood of the cow uh, by natural process which turns into white milk uh, you will get better brain better strength uh that for cow protection is very essential in vedic civilization uh 
Therefore, we offer respect to Krishna. Krishna is the benefactor of cows and the Brahman. Namo Brahmana Devaya. Go Brahmana Hitayaj. Uh, go Brahmana Hitayaj. Krishna is, when we say, first go cows. Uh, you'll find Krishna always with cows. Uh, here is Krishna's picture, you see how he is loving the cow and the cow. He's personally teaching uh, from his childhood, from his boyhood. So we should follow. If we want to become Krishna conscious, we must give. Uh, uh, the cup is also seeing to the face of Krishna for protection. And Krishna is giving protection. Yes, I will give you protection. So, this is the position. And here is also dharma. Uh, religious life must begin very clean. Uh, that is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Jisamanta gatam papam janalaṁ punna karmanaṁ te dandha mahanin mukta bhajante maang dirabhika. Sinful life will not help. That is practical, as you all know. And we see so many varieties of people, men, in the society. Hey, what is the difference of variety? One has got good brain, another has got dull brain. That is it. That is the variety. So if you want good brain, uh, good brain means how to get relief from all the troubles of material existence. That is good brain. And bad brain means to become implicated more and more. Uh, they do not know, because they have got bad brain, they do not know how spirit, soul is transmigrating from one body to another, how he is becoming entangled. Uh, today I have got very nice body, American body. Uh, but what is the guarantee, next life? But they do not believe in the next life, because they have no good brain. So, in order to understand things as they are, you require good brain. And for good brain, you require uh, milk preparation. Uh, in this way, as they are suggested and routine in the uh, shastras and guided by sadhu guru, shastra, if we accept, then we shall be become. We shall become very happy in this life and next life also. That is Krishna Consciousness Movement. Thank you very much. This question, hmm. I actually have four questions, but one would be sufficient to ask is that um, are Sivasup Ananda Goswami and Chusta Krishna Maharaj and their followers more advanced in their understanding of Krishna as a spiritual master than the other devotees of his time. And secondly, are they, have they advanced beyond uh, following the rules and regulations of his time? That is up to you to judge by the result. If they are actually advance, why they should leave this company of this con. Therefore, I know they are very good souls. They might have done some mistake out of misunderstanding, but I would invite them to come back again and take their position. It is not a very good sign that they have left. Uh, they will never be happy. That's a fact. Hare <laughs> Krishna.